Hi, me Heat Nation. Hello, guys. My name is Trent, and over here in this channel, we are going to be covering the Miami Heat. So if you want to stay updated to all the Miami Heat news, this is the perfect channel for y'all. Make sure you drop that sub and turn on post notifications. Also, I do want to say that I do have a Miami Heat Discord server. So if you want to go join that, the link will be in the description. Now, in today's video, we are going to be talking about the NBA trade deadline 2023, what to expect from the Miami Heat. Now, currently, the Miami Heat are standing six in the Eastern Conference with a record of 29 and 23. And yes, we did beat the Cleveland Cavaliers yesterday, which were only a few games away from them for being the top five seed in the NBA of the East, obviously. Now, the Miami Heat been having an up and down season, but lately they have been playing a little bit better. We're currently seven and three in our last 10 games. We are on a one game win streak, but I'm Really, we should be like on at least a three game win streak. We lost to the Charlotte Hornets and that was just super unfortunate. But positive things about this team so far this year is that we're 17 and nine at home. So we're a solid home team away, a different star. We're 12 and 14. Now, obviously, we need to fix this team. And to be honest with you guys, it's going to be hard to fix this roster because when you have contracts of Kyle Lowry and Duncan Robinson, I feel like I keep repeating myself, but the truth of the matter is no one really wants them. And if you are going to trade one of these players, you're most likely going to be losing the trade because you're probably going to have to throw a first round pick in. Now, if there was going to be any moves, I honestly think it's going to be out during the buyout market time and we need to start releasing Dwayne Dedman. So what I do if I am the godfather, first thing I'm going to do is release Dwayne Dedman. I think he needs to be off the roster. He's useless. Two, Try to find teams that want Kyle Lowry because there are some teams that have been asking about him because at this point, it looks like Kyle Lowry is just doing cardio. He's not doing nothing on the court. He's doing nothing for this team to win. His contract is probably one of the worst contracts in the league. He's getting older. I think it's time for him to just retire. Like, I think that's where at the point at. Two, we need to add some shooting. I, I want to throw this out here, right? The Heat offensive rating will be ranked 12th. If it's shot league average on threes, all the all the Miami Heat need to do is just shoot average on threes and we'll be at rank 12, which is still very incredible. And in when you win a lot more games, this team has absolutely no shooting. And also, I want to say this, the Miami Heat would have top five offense if it replicated its league best three point percentage from last season. So shooting and bigs, that's what the Miami Heat need to do. And I honestly think we could compete with any team in the Eastern Conference 100 percent. Because we, when we have a big three of Jimmy, Bam, and Tyler Harrow and Victor Oladipo stepping up, with other players like Max Struess and Gabe Benson playing their role, I honestly think this team could be very, very good. The problem is, is that after Duncan Robinson and Kyle Lowry, we don't really have much. Maybe we could throw in a Max Struess, maybe we can throw in a Caleb Martin. But personally for me, I've been saying... I'm not going to trade a Max Struess and a Kayla Martin for John Collins. I'm not a big fan of John Collins. And it seems like the Hawks realize that the league thinks Collins isn't that good. And they've been lowering their trade value for him. I do want to say this. The teams, the players that have been linked to the Miami Heat are Jay Crowder, John Collins, D'Angelo Russell, Jared Vanderbilt, Josh Hart, Serge Ibaka, Kelly Olenek, Nas Reed, Yakum Perto, Nerlens Noel. You got Sadiq Bey, Terry Rozier, PJ Waston, Fred Van Lee, Cam Reddish, and Gordon Hayward. These are the players that have been brought up for the last few months. And hopefully we can land one, but... To be honest with you guys, I just don't really see seeing us make a move because with all the cap situation and the cap's a huge thing in the NBA. Unless Miami wants to go over and pay the tax, that's going to be on the front office and organization to make that decision. If they think this team's good enough to win a championship and we just need to add a few more players to do that, I personally would go for it. Personally, in my opinion, as a diehard Miami Heat fan, I just don't think this team is good enough to win an NBA championship just yet with the roster that we have. Now, maybe if we add a player like just an example, maybe like a Yakum Perto. Then I honestly think that changes a lot of things. Or a player like D'Angelo Russell. If we can get a trade of D'Angelo Russell and Nas Reed to get Kyle Lowry out of here, I'm 100% for it. And then be in the buyout market, you try to add a shooter if someone gets bought. No, like maybe like a Gary Harris. I'm all for that. And I honestly think this team could compete in the Eastern Conference comfortably because even with the roster even with the roster that we have right now we have given every team in the eastern conference competition even the number one seed the boston celtics we go to war with them we could we beat them they beat us but in a seven game series i'm confident if this team can add a little bit more pieces we can beat them so i'm not really worried about any other team besides the milwaukee bucks just because of their 
height and their length. But the 76 is not worried about Brooklyn Nets, not worried about the Cavaliers, not worried about. Besides that, you got the Knicks and Hawks, not going to be worried about them. So the Miami Heat need to take advantage of what they're seeing this year. Even in the Western Conference is open. Like, yes, you got the Nuggets and Grizzlies, but do you really see them in the championship? And even if you did see in the championship, I'm confident that we can beat both of those teams. So Pat Riley has a very, very important for not free agency, but very important things to do before this trade deadline. I believe it's February 9th. We're at February 1st. So we only got a few more days, eight more days, Pat Riley. Make us happy during the off season. It was a failure. We didn't do nothing. And if you don't do something during the trade deadline, it just, you don't really care about this team. That's how I personally feel. But you guys let us know in the comments what y'all think. I love you guys so much and I'm out. Peace.